today we're going to be talking about how my family had no idea that I was gay. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Curly Velasquez. I am a writer, actor, personality. My family is from El Salvador and settled in one of the most famous cities in the world, Hollywood, California. I didn't really understand my sexuality as a kid. I walked differently. I spoke differently. I didn't even know that what I felt had a name until another boy in my third grade class called me a slur. And I was like, huh, I guess there's a name for what I'm feeling. Not a good name, but nonetheless, there was a name for it. I realized that being queer was kind of punk. I started to, in the seventh grade, come out slowly to my best friends, and we became kind of cool, where my bullies would kind of try to use my sexuality against me, but I would give it right back. While I was becoming like a young queen bee at school, at home, I was kind of like, I needed to be quiet. I had to survive. I grew up in a household that was very much engulfed in machismo. Machismo in Latinidad is a currency. You are the man of the house, and nobody else really has any sort of say in the home. The more alpha you are, the more respected you are. My dad was a military man, and the way that he knew how to communicate was through violence, and I didn't feel safe coming out. I think my mom also didn't know how to deal with my queerness, but they didn't know any better. And it was just a thing of them trying to protect truly this big-headed little scrawny kid that was out here thinking that they were Selena. I always just thought that the only way that I could ever come out to them was that I would have to run away. I had to think of a master plan. I would write letters to Madonna in New York and tell her that I loved what she was doing with the community and that I just needed to be adopted. Dear Madonna, it is I, Curly, your favorite, I'm moving to New York because I need a place to stay as I am coming out to my parents who might not like that I'm coming out. Love Curly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't really work out that way. So imagine this, it's the late 90s, early 2000s. The internet is super new to a lot of people. And I asked my dad, I was like, hey, can we download this? All of my friends have it. I would really like to be able to communicate with them. My dad gave in. I think he understood that it was kind of something that was inevitable. And so we get the internet and let's just say at the time for a 12, 13 year old boy, the internet was the place to be. So I had heard that this 90s heartthrob had done a nude photo shoot and I was set on finding these photos. Like, determined. I was there like, I'm gonna find this picture, I'm gonna look at him. I go and I find the picture and I start to see a bunch of like random like pop-up windows and then it just stopped working. And I was like, uh oh no, what just happened? So I remember telling my dad, hey dad, something's wrong with the internet. It just stopped working. And he was like, okay son, I'll figure it out. We'll see what's happening and it'll be running shortly, I'm sure. While I was going through all of this and searching the internet, I didn't know that the computer was keeping track of every place that you visited on the internet. No idea. I go to my room, I put on my favorite 90s girl group and I am wearing a giant t-shirt, high socks, and just like singing, going ham on my performance. I hear my dad call my middle name, Elsa Gab, which I knew something's up. So here I was, 12 years old, no plan, nowhere to go, and no idea if I was about to have a home to live in. I'm about to come out to him, but I'm wearing like essentially a dress and like high top socks. <laughs> so I walk to the living room and my dad asked me to take a seat next to him. And he's like, so um, I've noticed you've been looking at some stuff on the internet. Do you want to tell me what you've been looking at? What I remember was that I started crying and I started shouting for my mom. Like, mama, mommy. But my mom, who's little chismosa, was also listening because I think she wanted in on the chisme too. This was going to be the day that I had to really decide whether I was going to take that step out of the closet or keep safe for just a little bit longer. But I decided, let's do this, girl. So my dad was like, are you gay? And I said, yes, I think I am. I was still crying and I was scared and I didn't want to be gay. And so my dad goes, okay, go to your room and we'll talk tomorrow. I think something clicked in his head, which is the above all else, this is your baby. This is somebody that came out of you and you need to love them and nourish them and protect them. And so something happened to this military man who his whole life had been told to be hard and rugged and macho. He softened up. Suddenly, I needed help. I needed an ally. 
And I'm lucky that that happened with both of my parents because they were like, oh, this queen is gonna need a little help. My experience of coming out to my family is very unique. I wish that it was like the norm. And now in kind of like this full circle moment, my mom is the one on the internet now, educating people, getting into fights with people that she is like, they're homophobic, I'm just letting them know. Tienen que saber, can you believe this mother? She doesn't love her kids. And I'm like, mom, that was you. <laughs> but she feels like she's doing her duty and changing the world, which maybe she is. My dad has come to a space now. He's like, if I could do it all over again, I would have you, the same queer kid, exactly who you are. Thick eyeliner, crazy hair, big outfits. I wouldn't have it any other way. Here we are, because of a 90s heartthrob and an internet search history that I didn't even know existed. Make sure you clear your search history, all right? For everybody watching, clear it all. But I decided, let's do this, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and last time. <laughs> there he goes. There he. Ooh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he was like, okay, son, I'll figure it out. We'll see. Okay, let's see. Give her a little kiss, put her back. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm gonna find this picture, I'm gonna look at him. Yes, let's reset. <laughs> Perfect, let's reset. Did you say sleep instead of say? Yeah, I got gotcha. <laughs> And action. <laughs> Great, let's cut. That's a cut. Yeah.